Hello everybody, uh, welcome back. Um, I'm just taking a bit of time out from doing some coin hunts uh, to see what I've actually had received in the post just recently. I am waiting for a, quite a few more packages to arrive. I thought they might have been here before now, but I'm, I'm, I've been told that things are going to get a bit delayed. So in the meantime, I've ordered uh, some stuff from UK Coin Hunt. Do the this one first. Obviously, I have uh, removed my address. Now, this is something that I've fallen temptation to because my uh, album is looking a bit depleted at the moment, and there's a few empty spaces. So, get rid of the evidence. There, I think actually the stuff I've ordered inside. <clears throat> Let's move the package into one side. Right, so this is what I've ordered from UK Coin Hunt. Um, I've got a few empty slots in the album. Now you can see I've got one even 2011, one from 2016, and a one from 2018. And you can probably already guess what they are. So I've got Flopsy Bunny. I've also got a Jemima Puddle Duck. And the thing that uh, Bungle says does not exist, the Olympic football. Now, obviously, these are all uh, circulated coins, so I'm not expecting them to be in pristine condition. Nevertheless, in my one album, um, I've got, apart from the, the queue, I've got two empty spaces. That one there, where Jemima's going to go in. And also the one there, which is where the Flopsy Bunny will live. Now all of these um, are excluding the Olympic coins, so it's just the queue that I'm going to be waiting for. <clears throat> However, <coughs> excuse me, my daughter, or my eldest daughter, she's uh, doing quite a few in the... The date runs, pennies, two peas, five eight peas, etc. There are the eight of Zs for 2018. I've actually already got the 2019, which you might have seen in a previous video, so I'm still waiting for six there. And a little bit further on. We've got the Olympics. So as you can see, there's one space missing on that page. And I've got all of them up to the uh, the wrestling on the on the other page. So there's only that one that was still waiting for, which is that one that's going to go in there now. My youngest daughter's already had the uh, Olympic set for some time. She started quite a few years ago so now Emma has the full set I've just got to try and get a an album for that so that's three of them all in and the second one um, I took the uh, dress off again but I think uh, Elijah's gone a bit mad with the stamps <laughs> uh, the whole packet was covered in stamps so yeah he had uh, 12 Nine pay stumps, and partridge in a pear tree. Mahmoud. Just uh, pausing them for anybody who sort of does like stumps. 
at the European Assembly elections. Mm. And that was the odd one out, 7p one. Yeah, so yeah, we thought we'll probably get them. So it's not into stamps in a in a big way, however um she does like these these type of stamps that Elijah sends. I'm just gonna trim that off, won't be easy to get at. Pop that on one side. Okay, just get rid of the evidence. Right, and once again, these are circulated coins, and I did see these on uh, Caledonian Coins' channel quite uh, a few weeks ago. Um, at the time, I thought there was only three coins that... Uh, were out and it was only later I found there was actually a full set from a penny up to the two pounds and that is the uh, Gibraltar Island Games from 2019. So I thought these uh, the coins were really, really cool. Um, obviously, I will need to try and get an album at some point for them. So if anybody knows of where I can actually get hold of an album for these coins, please let me know in the comments. So the uh, the one p coin that uh, depicts swimming. Two P. I'm presuming that's water polo. There's the water on the right hand side. Um, unless it's uh, volleyball, but uh, could 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 it be beach volleyball? It's a real really stunning set, and considering. Uh, the UK only seem to do commemoratives from uh, 50p and the two pound coins and obviously the 10 pences. I don't know why they've never thought about doing this with like full sets. I'm presuming that is athletics. I don't know. Looks like somebody won. But what, what really got me was the way they've done like a yin and, yin and yang design on these coins makes it really cool presumably that is table tennis possibly because i know there's another one that does have tennis on it Twenty pence coin. <clears throat> that must be the uh, triathlon. Yeah, and UK coin on to, um managed to get a few sets in, which I was a bit too late to get the first batch, but I did uh, manage to get something out of the second batch. Um, and he did them for a quite a good price as well. As he selling. I think the, uh, well, these are the ones I originally saw on Caledonian Coins' channel. And I thought I've got to get me some of them. The backs of these coins are absolutely stunning, aren't they? They're... Luster as a... Uh... Bungo calls it. And that's the one pound coin. That looks like a tennis one. Mm. 
And last but not least, the two pound coin. The cycling. Again, it's really, really clever how they've got the uh, the, the opposites. They make it really, really stand out on the coin. And that's the uh, the Island Games from 2019 from uh, Gibraltar. There, the Gibraltar Island Games. So, very nice set. So, as I said, if, uh, if anybody knows of where I can pick up a decent either a display album or a display case for those, I don't know if there's anything. I've, I've had a look online, I can't see anything um, that sort of that's been made for these coins, especially. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Sort of a short and sweet video today, but uh, I'll hope to see you again soon in a hunt. Bye-bye for now.